it is monday morning been here for a couple hours already getting some uh, work done getting ready for the day and, and i made some progress school started this morning for this christian school and uh so it took a few minutes had to make some crossways to cross over between these two buildings and to get up from this playground back up in the parking lot so did that first thing this morning got some rock in there to cross over now what i'm working on is mudding in these uh tiles culverts in the in the box and my helper jimmy <laughs> knocked some well, he's a pastor at the church here he knocked some pretty good holes in this uh retaining wall box so we got a little bit of work to do so we'll get these two finished mudding in and i'm mixing up another batch here and then we'll get that one there's some uh, the whole side of that one's going up there we'll get that mixed up and uh then the plan is to build the head wall out there on the end and build that head wall and put that in place get the rip right there so here we go This is what I was talking about on that hole. It's got a, I was aggravating Jimmy about it, but it's kind of hard to keep that from happening sometimes. But that's a big old hole. I got to get mortared up. Setting his head wall, temp number one was a big failure. And I didn't get that because my GoPro battery's dead. But what I've done is come back and built myself a little bit of a footer here to where the lip of that uh, head wall can sit down in that foot and the back of it set flat. And the way those hooks are, it's gonna be leaning like this. So I gotta set that down and start letting it down at an angle. And then somewhere or another, I gotta hold this pipe up. And then as this goes down, that pipe's gotta go in. Uh, yeah, by yourself. Yeah, let's figure this out. So far, so good. Had to kind of teeter-totter that thing in there, but now I got the front of the head wall on my line. So I guess the plan is now to start letting this down, and then I gotta get that pop dropped into the hole as I'm coming down with that, some way or another. Second attempt on that went really well. Only problem I've got is it's a half inch, three quarters of an inch too high, which means water's gonna set in the last six or eight feet of this pipe. I really don't wanna take that out again and lower that, but it needs it, so let's do it. There we go, third time's the charm, like I said, and we are in and fixed up good. So it could probably stand another quarter to half inch of fall, but worst case scenario, it's level. 
that water's gonna run on out, so it'll be just fine. And we've got a 1% grade all the way from the catch basin all the way up to the top there. 1% grade to here. And then that levels out with just a touch of fall on it, so it'll be just fine. Now what I'm gonna do is rip wrap around the face of it there. Any water that's trapped behind the wall, any water that comes down that ditch through that 57s I put in there will ease its way out around that. And then I'm gonna rip wrap in front of it here so the water can come in here and slow down, diffuse and spread out and go down the hill. And there's gonna be a lot of water coming down through here, but if we start getting some wash in this area here, we may have to rip wrap a, a channel all the way down to the woods there, but we're gonna wait on that and see what happens here over a little bit of time. That water gets diffused here with that rip wrap and slows it down. Today is finishing day. This is day 19, I think, on the whole project. But this is like third day, I think, or fourth day on the stormwater uh, system. So we're gonna get that finished up today. Yesterday evening, I got uh, this backfield and got ready for mulch. Got some mulch spread back out. Get the rest of the mulch put on the playground. I got some backfilling to do right here. Put that retaining wall back together. And uh, these were finished. Uh, some folks from the church yesterday actually came in and finish mudding around these culverts get the cat the uh, catch basin grates put back on get this back filled and that'll be ready for concrete and what they're going to do is do a sidewalk tie a sidewalk in right here and a sidewalk will go on up and cover this ditch and tie back into the sidewalk up there this catch basin is in and back filled and mudded in so I'll put the back fill around that and then they'll custom make a concrete bowl right here to catch water coming out of that field the headwall side got all that rip wrap put in yesterday you saw me putting that starting putting that in and now then that water is going to come out of the catch basin up there come down to this headwall spill out into this rip wrap and really my plan for that design in my head for that was water is going to come out of that pipe hit this rip wrap and slow it down it's the main thing slow it down and diffuse it, scatter it out in this rock and let it come off into this, where it's always going. It's always come down this little valley here and into the woods. Got a little bit of work left to do here with the excavator. I'm gonna kind of scatter these racks out, rocks out. I want, a, I want some fall between that head wall and down to right here so that that water comes down through here. And a heavy, heavy water will force its way down through here and work through this riprap. go class how we go we got one storm drain catch basin great in place
sometimes things just go better than expected. I expected that block to fight me going in there, but it went in pretty good. I don't know sure I'm not sure how well you could see that but I've got two pieces of hard pipe and then I've got those expandable connections that go between the corrugated black pipe and connects it to these hard pipes now so we've got a solid flow of water from the edge of here over to the edge of there now on both of those and I put some rock under them and got them back to where they need to be to drain water I'll backfill that with rock and backfill that stone there and then I'll be able to put those two tops back on and the wall will be back in place. I was getting ready to leave and uh, showed a few minutes ago a concrete guy's going to come in behind me and do some concrete work here. But Mr. Joe Moore here has come up with a great idea. And this was the area I was concerned about was water running off the pavement right here and hitting that rock and going down and not going to catch basins. But he came up with this product. Look at them bags. All right, so that's the bag. It swells up to, what do you say? 12 by 24. So that swells up to 12 by 24, and what you do is soak them in this tub, and uh, they start swelling up, and this is the result. I mean, that's a, that's a, I wouldn't call it, it's not a sandbag, but it's gel or something, holding that water. But that product is called Quick Dam, and uh, that is a really good idea to stop that water from flowing across that pavement till they can get the concrete work done. We got this catch basin filling up, this first one, and we've got water running down that catch basin. Let's go see if it's coming out the other side. <laughs> I told him if the water's not coming out the other side, they need to call a professional <laughs> at this point. All right, so we got water coming out the other side, and we got the water hose running in, and then it's going into that one. And shortly, it'll be coming out down there on the other side of the playground, down the where that outlet is. 